In this video, I will show you how to create a professional business email. And when I say a professional business email, I mean an email coming from your domain name. 2022 is almost ended and you don't want to stick to Gmail, Yahoo and the rest. So in this video, I will show you how to create a professional business email for yourself and your business. Coming up. Hello guys, this is Swadik here at Digo Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's jump into the video. To create a professional business email, you will need a domain name and web hosting. In this tutorial, I'll be using Direct Admin Control Panel from Hoopa Web. If you don't have a domain name and web hosting yet, you can check out Hoopa Web's links in the description. So I haven't signed into my Direct Admin C panel. The next thing I do is go over to email manager section, then I click on email account. If you don't have any emails yet, by default, you will see an email address like this. And this one will be created for you by default the moment you purchase your hosting. I will advise you not to use it. So the next thing I do is go over to create account. And the username, I go ahead and enter the username I want to use. So if you need a business email, it can be info at your domain name.com or support at your domain name.com. But if you need a personalized email, it can be your name at your domain name.com. For this demonstration, I'm going to create for a business. So I'll just enter info. You don't need to add the at your domain name.com because it's already here for you. Next thing you want to do is come over to password. You can go ahead and choose your custom password. Or you can even click on this icon right here to generate a password and that is what i'm going to do next is email quota which is going to be in megabytes by default 50 is entered in here meaning if i create this email account now the email quota will be 50 megabytes so you can enter whatever amount of megabytes you want you can also go in for the maximum quota just by selecting this checkbox and you see that the number 50 is gone off for this email i'm going to limit it so i uncheck the max and i go ahead and enter in the megabytes i want finally is the send limit i will advise you to leave it as maximum then i go ahead and click on create account your account info at alahahomes.com has been set up so this is the email my password my pop server and then smtp server However, I don't try using this password because after this tutorial, I will change it. So now that we've seen how we can create an email in Direct Admin C panel, let's see how we can log in into our email. If you are finding value so far, please give this video a thumbs up. It does help me out so that the video will be suggested to more people on YouTube and also benefit more people. All right, let's continue. So first of all, I'll go ahead and copy my password. Then I open a new tab. So what you need to do is enter your domain name. So I'll enter https alahahomes.com slash then you enter webmail. Then press enter. And the username, I enter my email address. And then I paste in my password. Click on login. And boom, we are right there. So from here, you see all your inbox messages here. You also have access to drafts, sent, junk, and trash. If you want to send a new message, you go over to compose right here. You can perform more settings by going here. For instance, if you want to change your password, this way you can do that. Just click in there. Then you enter the current password and you go ahead and enter in the new password. Now, if you don't always want to come here to check your messages or even send messages, there's a way you can link this account to your Gmail account so that you use Gmail to send and receive messages. And with that, your customers will see messages coming from your professional business email. If you want to learn how to do that, I have a video link in the description down below that will take you through step by step as to how you can link your business email to your Gmail account. So that's it on how to create a professional business email. Alright guys, I hope you found value in today's video. If you did, 
kindly hit the like button, subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and also hit the notification bell so that each time I post a new video on this channel, you will be the first to know. Keep watching and I will see you in the next one.